For those of you who think all the videos about 3D printed houses and 3D printed construction in general have been a little light on the details, here's the video for you. We're going to dive deep into a 19 page document outlining all the nitty gritty details behind this building which is the first 3D printed office building in the world located here in Dubai. One of the many 3D printed construction projects I was able to visit while I was there. The level of detail made public in this paper is incredible. I haven't really seen anything like it. Other companies often keep their structural testing and construction transport methods private. I'm here at the Dubai Future Foundation. It's currently getting a new paint job and maybe a little bit of renovation to freshen it up for the Dubai 2020 Expo. This is a big event to show the world all of the futuristic technology Dubai has been working on. This building behind me was printed by Winsun. It was actually the very first company I featured on my channel. Winsun is an awesome 3D printed construction company out of China that's invested a ton of money into automated construction technologies. This is one of their big projects outside of China and got huge attention for being the first of its kind. Now there's other 3D printed office buildings in the UAE and around the world, but this one holds a special place for being the first. We're going to look through some of the extensive documentation that they have from this project and learn about the things that went well, the things they wanted to improve on for next time, and what Winsun has been working on since then. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get any drone footage of this building because there's a government building behind here which requires uh, special permits and that's not really my style. So we're going to skip the drone footage today. I'm standing next to the 3D printed building. You can barely even tell it's 3D printed. They've covered it, smoothed it out with some kind of uh, plaster, maybe a gypsum based material. And I think it's been recently painted. They have the plastic over the window and you can see the fresh paint, fresh coat of paint. It used to be more of a white and now it's painted more of a tan that's more suited to the buildings in this area uh, rather than being a stark white contrast. They've finally finished most of the painting and they're putting the finishing touches on the Dubai Future Foundation for completion for the Dubai Expo 2020 that begins on October 1st. I'll see if I can get some footage of what they have going on here. Hopefully they don't ask me to leave. This is a temporary parking spot, so I'll take what I can get. Now on to the paper. It describes the office building as being 2,000 square feet printed on a 3D printer in China that's over 20 feet tall. This document referred to the combined buildings that make up this office as individual cassettes. This is one of the super rare circumstances where the finished product actually looks better than the rendering in my opinion. The buildings are done with a top and bottom half that are prefabricated and joined together on site. They also used pre-tensioned steel in the gaps of the printed concrete walls and then filled them with grout. Custom horizontal reinforcement was made that would specially fit the concrete wall. They show images of how the steel trusses were placed in the wet concrete and also how the cassette pieces were tested after they had been cured. You can see in the top left and right corners the grout that they have holding the pretension wire in place. Their initial tests apparently demonstrated lower flexural strength than anticipated. They ended up doubling the number of strip footings from two to four strip footings, thus improving the flexural strength before shipping the units to Dubai. They even included diagrams of the cracks differentiating between cracks from the top of the print versus cracks at the bottom of the print. This document doesn't include a photo of the printer, but it's 33 feet wide and 132 feet long. I wasn't able to see it when I visited their facility in China either.
they have a small diagram of it later in this report. The interesting part of this page is at the bottom. The compressive strength is measured at 31.6 MPa, with the tensile strength about 10% of that. They measure each layer as 20 millimeters. Interestingly, they found some unhydrated Portland cement grains within the printed wall. Here's the schematic of the printer and how the pieces of the cassette were made. It's pretty vague, but you get the idea. These large prefabricated sections were lifted via an overhead gantry system or crane into a truck and then transported all the way from China to Dubai. You can see all the lower half pieces of the cassette buildings here with four strip footings underneath each one. Not only did they use pre-tensioning, they also used post-tensioning to connect the cassettes. The building was then mounted onto the foundation and they added insulation and a finishing layer to the exterior of the building. This is how it looked placed on site before all the finishings. Pretty big difference. They have great data from all the stress testing they did using the modules of the cassette. They also have a great list of conclusions. They're happy with how this project turned out, but for the future, they want more tensile strength from the concrete mixes and more quality control. They also call for a new code standard that would eliminate the need for rebar reinforcement. I really wish every project had such a detailed document to go along with it that we could learn from as companies continue to experiment with automated construction technologies around the world. I wasn't able to get inside of this building as they were still freshing it up for the expo. What do you think of its smooth design? I think it would be incredible to see an entire town or village made of buildings like this design. It's so unique. It almost looks like it's from space or meant to be built on Mars. Now a word from our channel sponsor Ventures Equipment on their mixer system specifically developed for 3D printed concrete mortar solutions. My name is Tony Johnson with Ventures Equipment. This is our Sure Mix three phase piece of equipment, 220. Uh, we're here in CD, Texas, uh, doing a demonstration for 3D printing. This is the project that we're, uh, we're exploring. We're having a good time with it. A lot of growth with the 3D printing uh, industry. So we're very hands-on people. You have questions, if we don't know, we'll find out for you. We try to do the best we can to help you know, all our clients to better suit their job. If it's not with our equipment, you know, we will try to lead you in a direction to help you get what's best for your concrete needs. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, feel 